Good morning, everyone. I'm back. It's Saturday. It's quarter to 11. And I have a whole lot of um, videos lined up for you all. First off, I've had a lot of uh, questions about the uh, uh, the two paintings I did with the uh, little balls on them. With the uh, This is Powertex 3D Balls. So if you're looking for these little things, that's what you want to Google. I know you can get them all over the world. So uh, Powertex is the uh, company that makes uh, the fabric stiffener. stiffener. And uh, they have 3D balls, so that's kind of um, what I used. I, I used some uh, medium, like gel medium, to uh, get this. Then I put these little balls in the middle, and I put some polymer medium over it to s fixate them. And that's just what it is. Now I'm going to um, finish them off. It It's about time, and I'm really, you know, sort of... Uh, inspired about doing that so what i'm using here is um this is um something that you can buy all over the place it's called inca gold see that inca gold and you have it in very uh different colors this one's bronze and what you do is you put it on a little piece of cloth or paper towel or whatever and you just sort of go over the uh, the bits where you want the color. So I'm not going to do too much because I already think it's pretty much done. But this is, uh, this is it. This is the last bit. So we're making sure that these little balls are going to pop off the canvas, giving them a little bit of color. And of course this uh, structure in the uh, in the paint we're gonna give that a little color also so very slowly just tap it and you'll see that everything that's raised will get the color everything that's pretty much low on the canvas you'll skip so I think this is about as far as I'm going to go with it because um, I think it's pretty much finished, right? So just give it here and there a little bit more. That's it. Now this is going to be really shiny as you can see and uh, once I varnish it, it'll really pop. The colors will come up and it'll give it a nice coating. I'm uh, thinking about doing a glossy because I usually always do glossy, but uh, why I'm choosing glossy is because something with a structure like this does best when you do it glossy because then it reflects the light better and it'll show you just, you know, the full potential of everything you've put on there. So that's why I'm going to choose for the glossy. Now this one's ready. Then this was the other one, and here I'm choosing for something different because um, the colors don't really pop up that well on the monitor, but believe me, these are really two colors, turquoise, greenish, and blue, and it, it really does, it looks, in real life, it looks just a little bit more uh, warm than it does on the monitor. What I'm doing is I have PVA glue, and you all know I use the bookbinders glue, which is archival. Then I tap on the little balls, just here and there, not too much. We'll tap it on. And if you find this uh, a little bit boring, no problem, you can just fast forward. Then I take a little bit of, um, you have imitation gold leaf and you have imitation copper leaf. And if I put that on there, it's going to stick because I've just made it with the PVA glue. And I watered down the PVA glue because that is um, 
all you need. You just need a, a tiny little bit of moisture to uh, to get these things to stick. And I already did a lot of it because uh, you know it's it's too time consuming to do uh, on video. But this is really all there is. <clears throat> you tap it down with a little bit of PVA glue, and that's it. And for the people living in Europe, I sell this in my shop, these, uh, these flakes. Some are big, some are small, but you know, it's just because um, you want as much of that in a little uh, package. So for this type of work, you don't really need big, big flakes, really little ones will do. Okay, now when you're uh, ready, when you think, okay, that's all I want on it, then you just brush the rest off. I'm sure you've seen more videos about uh, gilding with copper leaf or gold leaf. I'm sure you've seen a lot of it. But now I'm going to finish it off with the uh, Inca gold. So right now I'm just going over everything to make it just a little bit more uh, how do you call it you know we pull it all together cohesion something like that so that's it just a little bit more to make some of these things pop and pull it all together. Now I saw a, um, a, a YouTube video yesterday about Bob Ross. You know he died at the age of 52. That's really sad. He was just starting to really uh, get recognized for what he was doing. Uh, and the funny thing which I didn't know is that he never really received much money for all those um, shows he did because it was public broadcasting and I didn't know that so uh, that's kind of sad that you know at the height of his um, his career he, it went downhill and he sort of got sick he had Hodgkin's lymphoma something like that and uh, that, that really uh, made me a little bit sad. You know, I can imagine that you're really, you know, having, enjoying what you're doing, and then all of a sudden you get sick, and you feel like you're gonna be disappointing everyone when you're sick, because you can't do any shows. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I watched a lot of Bob Ross. I kind of liked the guy. I even did a couple of paintings like that back in the day. That was a long time ago, though. Uh, what it's called, it's a wet and wet technique. And uh, you sort of uh, take advantage of the uh, layers that you put on your canvas. And because they're wet, still wet, when you, you know, you do a beautiful blue background, then you come in with this wispy, wispy white to make the clouds. It's, it's kind of um, therapeutic, if that's the good word. Yeah, I think it is. Therapeutic. Now, it might look like I'm not doing much, but I am, because all these little... Um, I didn't only use, I'll get it in close, see I didn't only use the 3D balls in different sizes but I have also I have that sand in between and by rubbing over it with the uh, with the paper towel only the raised little things get paint on them as you can see so that sort of gives it a, um, a sort of a boost off that canvas and that's really what we're going for because we want it to be ooh that is pretty we want it to you know fill the picture you want your eyes to be drawn to 
this what we're doing here. Oh, that's that's nice. I'm starting to really like this thing. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to be also doing a video today with all the um, the paintings that I have that are what I think is uh, nice and which I'm going to be selling. So if you want one, I'm not going to put them on Etsy because I'm, I'm not sure about Etsy. You know, you just put a lot on there and um, some are not that pretty. So I'm going to maybe just be, you know, back in the day when I started, I did my videos and people already, you know, started to email me because they wanted to buy some of my paintings. So it was a little hassle and sometimes I, I lost track of everything, but I think that's the best way to go because then I know which one someone wants. I can varnish it straight away and send it off. Okay, I think we're to the bit where we have to stop. You don't want to overdo it. But I think this oh, it really shines really nicely. And I think I'd hang it like this. Yeah, but then it needs a little bit here just to balance it out. Like that. Because I want it to come back here. This is what I'm, um, I know a lot of, for me, it's just like nature. You know, when I look at something, I feel that, that it's off balance. And some people have a, a hard time determining when to stop or where to add something to bring it back into balance. Well, it's sort of a, you know, if you look at it and you see, then all of a sudden you see something that is sort of missing something. And that's where you you add a little bit and that's for this work but it's also for when you're pouring and you're doing something you know um, just on top of the painting with uh, adding a little, tiny little bit of paint or something like that so you want a little balance so I have all the corners balanced this is the main part and it's sort of flowing so that's that's it that's uh, how far I'm gonna go okay what I uh, have uh, ooh, maybe I would like to maybe with a little brush see that's the thing you know it's sort of um, everything I do is a sort of a work in progress and it's not like I'm rehearsing something just before I start it's just, you know, it just happens. <laughs> I hope this makes sense. Um, another thing that uh, Bob Ross did, which I didn't know, is that he, before he did a, a show, he would make a painting, the same one he's doing on the show, as sort of a reference painting. And uh, that's sort of smart to do, because then you already know where you're going to place stuff, and you already know how it's going to work, how the um, the colors are going to be, how you're going to place your trees and your mountains or whatever, whatever you're going to be painting. So that that was uh, something I really d didn't realize, and I think that that has an advantage because. Um, Sometimes people say, you know, it's, you know, what I'm doing it takes too long, but it's because you're getting it real time. So as we're talking and as I'm working, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know how the outcome will be. So that's sort of the thing. Ah, that looks better because I had a lot of um, blue shining through and I think this is better if it's a little bit solid and of course some people use my videos to fall asleep which is totally okay 
Uh, I looked up that word that some viewers told me, um, that ASMR, and it's sort of like when you listen to someone and it gives you um, that really nice and calm feeling and you can fall asleep with it. So um, I don't mind that people use my videos for that. You know, if this brings a little bit of Zen time into your life, well, that pretty much makes me really happy that I can do that. Maybe I should just find something to do that is even more calming than I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay. I think we're almost there. Now it's more of a, just pulled it a little bit together because I could see a lot of uh, blue between these little balls. And I think this is a little bit more appealing. That's it. Now it really does shine. And I know it doesn't, you can not almost not pick it up on the, uh, on the monitor. But it's really nice and shiny. Only those... See, when I look at this, this is too sharp. So I want it to feather out. That's why I'm going to add a little bit more. That's good. Looking for sharp bits. Here's a little bit of sharp. Okay, we're ready. Because you want it to, you know, sort of fade into the background, right? <clears throat> if, if you're... If you're using these flakes and you would just, you know, put a square bit over it, it wouldn't be that pretty. So you want it to feather it out and make make it, you know, really move into the background. That's when it starts to look appealing. Okay, stop. Take your hands off. This is it. Now, the rest of the things that are coming up. First off... I'm going to be doing two with the really um, bright blue colors that I did last week. <coughs> Not last week, a couple of days ago. So I will be doing that. I will be naming all the colors because I've had so many people asking me about the colors. But if you watch my videos, you know, by number, the first one I do with a new mix of colors, I always name all the colors. Then I do a couple of videos with the same colors, but I guess some people just jump in halfway, then they don't know which colors I'm using. But to, to do that, you know, name all the colors in every single video, then I'll get more people that say, you're taking too long, we know the colors. So I gotta, you know, do something in between that I make those people happy and those people happy. So it's juggling to make people happy. But that's okay. That's the life of a YouTuber, right? So I'm going to be doing two of those. And they are going to be the giveaways for this month, September. Because I put my finger in one. Let's see. Yes, this one. I put my finger smack in the middle here. But I'm going to be doing these colors. But I'm going to leave more blue. Because um, I really liked it when there was a a little less color and more of this blue and that's what I'm going to be doing so two of those for the giveaway uh, I am going to be doing a 30 by 30 I'm going to be doing a 25 by 25 I'm going to be doing two 20 by 20s and I'll show you the other one I did because I told people I would show them because some people said that is not going to flatten out but as you can see it is totally flat and it's just because um, when you work with quality paints and um, it just flattens out it does its thing and there's absolutely nothing that you can see this is totally smooth it is really there is no raised edges so this is it and this one is for sale also so if you see anything from now on you see anything you'd like to buy slip me an email <clears throat> the email address is under the video 
with uh, more information. I just love this bit. I'm sorry, I get distracted. Let me get you in close. There you go. See how smooth it is? You can see the structure of the uh, canvas. That's how smooth it is. There's absolutely nothing, no raised bit, so it is totally smooth. And that is how we like it. I just have to work away that little thing here. I don't know what, I think that's just a bit of paint and maybe this bit here because I want this totally, totally smooth and creamy and then this will just pop. I'd hang it up like this. I think it's beautiful up like that and it's pretty big. Uh, it doesn't have the, uh, no, it doesn't have the size on the back, but and I don't, oh yes I do, let me get you. Oh no, I thought that was a ruler, but it isn't. Okay, let me look if I got a ruler around here. No, I don't. <coughs> well, I'll find one in the next video. Uh, somewhere I have one of those rulers with the inches on it. I'll go find one. But it is pretty big, so it's about 40 by, I think... 30, something like that. So let me know, people. Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, get all my paint ready. I'm a little bit out of focus, I see here. There you go. Um, so I'm going to get my paint ready, and I will be back in a flash. So thank you all for watching. When oh, I have a free print later on in the next video, I guess. So um, I'll see you all in a bit. Thank you. Bye-bye.